Neighbors and others are still stopping by the R.M. Palmer Company site in West Reading following Friday's deadly blast. Multiple agencies are involved with figuring out what caused the explosion. 69 News reporter Tom Rainer is once again live for us on South 2nd Avenue with more on where things stand. Tom. Wendy and Rob were firmly heading into this investigation phase following this tragedy. Now, I spoke to Reading Fire Marshal Jeremy Searfoss. Now, he's not directly connected to this investigation. I want to make that clear, but he has a lot of experience, and he provided some insight into what the process might be like. No longer first responders, but rather those that come after, looking to figure out how this happens. In any fire or explosion investigation, fire investigators uh, follow a systematic approach, which involves gathering uh, gathering data. According to Reading Fire Marshal Jeremy Searfoss, that includes a number of different elements. Witness statements that include video surveillance. It can include floor plans of a building. Uh, so we, we kind of take the, uh, we reach out and we grab everything that we can. But with how quickly and devastatingly this happened, that's difficult. Sometimes it can be very complicated on figuring what was where. After gathering data and combing through debris, theories can start to emerge. Looking for potential or competent uh, ignition sources that could have caused that fire or that explosion. That includes things like power lines and gas lines. A lot of what we do is documentation of utilities to either rule them in or rule them out. So that's one of the first things. They'll also be trying to look at previous images of the site leading up to the disaster, something done often with fires or explosions at homes. Was there vehicles there or was this a porch? Was the porch enclosed? Uh, different things. So a lot of challenges for investigators and a lot of people waiting for answers. Live in West Reading, Tom Reader, 69 News.